Our 2013 CES coverage is powered by Ford. Go further. For Hack 5, I'm Darren Kitchen here at CES 2013. You know I'm always looking for that uh, next awesome little tiny thing. Just the tiny things, right? Sometimes it's just the little things that are going to make all the difference. And I know I am like everybody else who always picks up with my right hand the left earbud or tries to plug in the USB the wrong way. Well, it turns out with this, we now can't plug the USB in the wrong way. Here's a traditional USB. And if I try to plug it in over here like this, it's, it's just not going to go. And you always do this. You always go like, uh. And then sometimes you do this, and you're like, wait. And spend a while and then finally you're like, all right, great. Well, this is an adapter that you can uh, just plug in line with any of your USB cables and it doesn't matter. You can plug it in that way, spin it around, plug it in the other way. Makes no difference. This is the actual part. As you can see, it would uh, fit any of the packaging if you were to put this on your own PCB. And inside, what you have is basically a very thin PCB with uh, all four, I'm sure they're reverse on the other side, so it all works out in the end. And I'm here actually with the patent holder, Joe. How are you, Joe? Oh, yeah, real, 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 real nice, thank you, thank you very much. And so, uh, what inspired you to do this? Is it just the frustration of uh, plugging in the wrong way? It, it is, you know, after like a, maybe 16 years of frustration, I say finally, maybe uh, I was trying to go to the market, buy something. And so, what has been your, uh, you know, uh, what has been your difficulty in kind of bringing this to, from your brainchild to market? Uh, I, I feel like, uh, you know, I, I started, you know, giving away to my friends. You know, everybody's saying that's that's great. So I say, maybe we should market this thing. You know, so you know, that's some opportunity there. And so, what does this mean though for like certification? Because I know, understand that you know there is uh, the USB Alliance and and, and whatnot. Um, how does this, uh, how does this kind of mesh with that? The USB IF, they have spec, it's designed by engineer, not by real user. So, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's time to change. And uh, we, we still like to uh, get the USB IF to, uh, to, to amend the new spec. And, and hopefully, uh, you know, more, u more users can be, be benefited for using the flipper. And so is this for USB 2, USB 3? Sure, yeah, USB 2 and USB 3. And so where can I get this now? Is this something that has to be licensed by other developers to be put into technology? Or can I just go and get the uh, replace all my cables today? Yes, yes. Uh, we st we'll be available in uh, Walmart. And also, uh, our flipper is uh, uh, getting popular in Japan right now. The US, somehow, uh, just uh, we're starting this year. All right, you heard it. Look out for the reversible USB flipper. For all things uh, CES related, head over to revision3.com. I'm here at the Ford booth at CES 2013 with Ed. How are you doing, Ed? Hey, Darren. How's it going? And we're checking out the TDK. What is a TDK? I'm used to an SDK. What, <laughs> right. what is TDK? TDK is a technology development kit um, that developers can get for uh, you know app link enabling their apps instead of you know buying a vehicle or if they already have one, they can use an existing one. So this is a TDK. You basically have all the same interfaces as you would a, a normal vehicle. Um, you got the screen. You got the center stack with all the different buttons, preset buttons, forward, uh, back. Um, as well as some uh, car simulation uh, toggles. So you can turn the car off, open doors, um, set it to go forward and reverse, um, have it parked or not parked, things like that. So what kind of partners have you guys uh, teamed up with to enable apps to come to Ford? Right, so I mean, everybody knows, you know, a lot of the music streaming apps like Pandora, IR Radio, Slacker, NPR. Um, we also did some navigation-based apps, uh, Scout from Telenav. Um, we have our own sync destinations, um, MLB at bat, um, and a whole slew of more coming out um, you know, every, every few months. Awesome. Where can our hackers find the developer network to start coding up some awesome stuff for it's, the core? It's pretty easy, just like everything else, developer.ford.com. There we go. All right, and with all of that, I want to thank once again Ford for powering our CES coverage.